first thing we want to do is analyze the starting files. And uh, I have those here in 038 refactor challenge 01 original. We have an index.html and a style.css. And we have an IMG folder with a fog.jpg. <laughs> I just woke up. My voice is a little bit froggy. And so uh, I'm looking for what I'm looking for is what do I want to change about these files? How am I going to refactor them and make them better? And so the first thing that kind of comes to mind for me is like style.css. I might make that main.css. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the files and like actually preview the web page in a browser and just kind of get a visual sense of what I might want to change. So I'm going to go over to my web browser. And uh, when I look at this, there's a couple of things wrong with this. Like that's really small for a big heading. I'd probably want to make that bigger. And then this, I uh, definitely want to make that horizontal. That's totally wonky. And then these are like way too dark. And yeah, so just like add some transparency to these. So when I do that, step two, my original refactor, it's going to look like this. And so I've made this bigger. I've made these horizontal. I've given them a little bit of a rollover effect. I've taken away their bullets. And I've given this some transparency. And now this is all scrolling. And that background is remaining fixed, right, as I scroll. And so uh, to do this, I did the menu with inline block. So I want you, if you haven't already, but I want you to do your refactor, first of all, in two steps. The first step being use inline block to make your menu do that. All right, so those are, uh, those are the things I want to go for. Now when I look at the files, uh, I have my HTML file over here and then my CSS file on the right. Let's look at the HTML file first. All of this is straightforward and looks good, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It has a title. It's correctly attached to the style sheet. We're all good there. Down here, I've got a lot of div soup going on, way too many divs, some div-itis, it might also be called. So uh, I'm going to use some semantic HTML to sort of make that a little less div soupy. And uh, the next thing I want to do is just kind of look at the structure. So I have the body. Where's my cursor? <laughs> I have the body, and then I have this div, which wraps everything. And you can see it kind of highlight, right? As I select one, it highlights the other one down there. And then inside there, I have that div, that div, and that div. So I have like three divs, right, inside this wrapper, inside the body. And then I could just collapse these if I wanted to kind of see that a little bit more visually. And bring this one over there and collapse that. So that's sort of like, you know, I'll do that sometimes just to see the structure. So open these guys back up. Yeah, there we go. Open you. And open you. There we go. So, uh, you know, I might figure out some way to sort of make that a little cleaner. Next thing I want to do is look at my CSS. Come over to my CSS. And the first thing I see is I've got background, shorthand property, and then background size. Well, this is totally wonky. Never use background, right? It's just you've heard me rant about that. So stay away from background. And maybe the person here, when they put this together, their like background size wasn't working when they put that into the shorthand property. So they just added it on its own down here. Anyhow, I'm going to take that and I'm going to ex expand that, just use all of its normal properties and not use a shorthand. Because when we read this, we could even be like URL image fog, no repeat, right? So the image isn't going to repeat top center. That's its position and fixed. Mm, is that like the attachment, background attachment, or is there something else, right? There's always a little bit of ambiguity. So I'll explode that and use all of the long normal properties. So next thing is I have a little bit of a reset here being applied to the body. I'm going to pull that reset out and apply it, you know, uh, on its own at the top because I might want to apply it to many different elements. Uh, or maybe better yet, I'll use a reset style sheet and attach a reset style sheet and just push, blow everything out and reset everything. And then the next thing I have is my header. So that's this class right there. And it's a color and text align center. And so that looks okay. Though I'll probably switch that to semantic HTML, just use the header element. And then I have four boxes, uh, four classes. Box one, box two, box three, box four, applied right here. And, uh, and background color, it's giving them each a background color. So that's each of these four boxes. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, so it gives them a background color. It gives them a height gives them a width, it gives them text align center, and it gives them a margin. 
Well, all of this code is the same in each <laughs> of those. And so I want to stick to the principle of do not repeat yourself, which is also known as dry. So I'm going to extract that, apply that once to all of them in some way, right? And then just on each of the individual ones, I'll just change the color. So that's my game plan. When I first look at this, there's some things to change. When you first get started, like just rambling through all that, it might seem a little bit overwhelming. But when you look at it and then you just start changing the file and don't put together a laundry list, but actually just like, oh, let me just go in and start. And I would have just changed each of those things as I saw them. Uh, it's not that bad. Anyhow, it's one of those things. takes a little bit of practice. And so in the next video, we're going to start in on the refactor. And I'm going to do it with inline block. And I'm taking these two steps because I just want you to see there are many roads to Rome, and I want to keep it repeating in your head the different things we've learned. And so uh, we're going to do this first one with inline block, and then we'll do the next one with flex. <laughs> That's the game plan.